Rookie journalist Keenan Park embarks on his journey of becoming the first ever to document the horrors of the toxic wastewater dumping in the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon is in shambles. The native species and food chains have been destroyed, and the oil is destroying the Ecuadorian Amazon from the inside out. Look at these pits of wastewater. From 1964 to 1990, Chevron Corporation drilled many open pits into the floors of the Ecuadorian rainforest. In these pits, they dumped over 16 billion gallons of wastewater, 17 million gallons of crude oil, and many hazardous trash. Contaminated water sources harmed many nearby towns and ecosystems because of dump breaching. This issue began because Chevron Corporation tried to save money as Techniques to treat or hold wastewater cost up to $3 per barrel of oil. Oh look, native people! Let's go talk to them about the effects of wastewater in the Amazon. Uh, <laughs> uh, look at the environment. That has been destroyed by the Chevron company. My baby has been taken by the dirty water. I am part of the Sequoia tribe and many years ago Chevron Corporation attacked the Ecuadorian Amazon and after all these years there's still no hope of a better future. Oh, I'm Keenan Park. I'm a journalist out here and I'm recording the effects of wastewater in the Amazon rainforest. I would love to know more about your people and the environment. Mm. My wife here has recently had stomach problems and also had a miscarriage. Please do what you can to help her. Oh, I'm also a licensed medical practitioner. Uh, I, will, I will investigate her. She learned that day that Chevron Corp's toxic chemicals had caused cancer in the mouth, uterus, and stomach, common to the people exposed to the wastewater. As Chevron dumped crude oil and toxic wastewater in the Ecuadorian rainforest, there were little to no wastewater treatment facilities, which led to devastating effects. However, in our population in Los Angeles County, as you can see in the two images, we have a much more complex sewer system and more treatment facilities. We also have much better infrastructure that could allow citizens exposed to wastewater to be able to flee the area and find medical help. This shows how we would be less impacted compared to the effects on the Ecuadorian rainforest. So are you saying that not only did they destroy the homes of countless people and ruin the biodiversity of the environment, they did it just to save money? Meanwhile... Hmm, something doesn't seem right. Profits are down, stock values down. We need to do something. We need more cost cuts! Cost cuts! What do we need? Cost, cost cuts. cuts! How about... Hmm, how about we dump... 16 billion gallons of wastewater into the Ecuadorian rainforest. So we don't have to pay for those costly $3 barrels to treat it. Capitalism. At the cost of the native people's well-being, the oil companies saved money and made profits. People are being disproportionately affected in this situation because the natives are being negatively affected because of their exposure to the wastewater and Chevron Corporation is being positively affected as they are able to save money and make more profit. As you can see by this graph, since 1985, cancer incidents when people are in the Ecuadorian rainforest are being exposed to the wastewater goes very high as compared to people who are not exposed to the wastewater showing a clear correlation that the wastewater is negatively affecting the Ecuadorian peoples. Although Chevron Corporation has done many things to not solve this uh, problem by creating many bribes, loopholes, and straight up refuse, refusing to solve the problem they started, there are many ways we can address this situation. Government action seems to be the most effective way to force Chevron to um, make actions to amend its previous mistakes. So you can help by protesting or supporting websites such as Chevron Toxico, which spread awareness of the situation and document videos about the effects of the Chevron Toxico spill. 
Hopefully you are now educated and aware of the Chevron oil spills in Ecuador. And now you can do your part by donating to AmazonWatch.org, which supports the victims of this tragedy. Three, two. As I walk through the Ecuadorian Amazon, I take a look at the ground and realize the plants are gone. Cause we've been dumping and spilling so long that even my employees think that my heart is gone. But I ain't never seen a thing that made me regret it. Me be making quick buck, you know that's unheard of. We better watch how we're drilling and where we're spilling, or Chevron Corporation might be fined the lot. I really hate the spill, but I gotta save. As they choke, I see the forest in clouds of smoke, fool. We the kind of thief the companies wanna be like, dumping barrels in the night, counting money in the street light. Been spending most their lives living in an untouched paradise. Been spending most their lives living in an untouched paradise. We keep spending most our lives ruining the natives' paradise. We keep spending most our lives ruining the natives' paradise. Power and the money, money and the power. Bribe after bribe, censor after censor. Everybody's hating, but half of it and talking stuff's going on in the forest. But you don't know, shocking. Say I gotta pay, but nobody here to make me. They can't be the court. How can they shake me? I guess they can't. I guess they, can't. I guess they won't. I guess they done. That's why I know your case is out of luck, fool. Been spending most of their lives living in an untouched paradise. Been spending most of their lives living in an untouched paradise. We keep spending most of our lives ruining the natives' paradise. We keep spending most of our lives ruining the natives' paradise.